This is Kilo, and today I'm going to show you guys how to properly clean your lock cylinder on your door, as well as how to deal with a sticky latch situation or a sticky doorknob or deadbolt. So before I get started, if you guys haven't already watched my video on explaining the differences between a true lubricant and WD-40, I suggest you check that out right here. Before you get started, make sure that you are not using WD-40. If you don't know why, go ahead and check out that video and I explain exactly why that's a terrible idea. But with that said, we're going to go ahead and assume that you watched that video or you are aware. And we'll start with the latch situation. So there are a couple of problems people run into with latches. One I notice happens a lot when people install a brand new doorknob is they over tighten the screws as they mount the knob to the door and when you twist the knob to try it you'll twist it and as you let go the, the latch just kind of doesn't pop back out. This is because you, you over tightened the screws, the mounting screws. So if this is happening definitely make sure that they are not you know over tightened to try this go ahead and back them out you know half a turn each and then try and twist the knob and see if it pops out if it still doesn't loosen it up another half a turn and see if it starts to start feeling too loose then you've got another problem but the other uh issue is that if the knob becomes loose over time when people are constantly using it it can do the exact same thing. You can have the knob being too loose and the latch will be sitting just kind of off and it'll prevent it from really wanting to poke back out. So in either case, make sure that your knob is not loose and not over tightened as both of those can cause this problem. Now, if that problem is still happening and it's not over tightened and it's not loose, you could also have the same problem that happens where you turn your knob and the latch only retracts, you know, this far. Or maybe it retracts this far, but it's not fully retracting. So in this case, where it's not wanting to come back out or it's not wanting to fully retract, what you'll do is you will push with your thumb and press the latch fully inside take your lubricant, in this case we'll use Houdini, and use the straw anytime you can, and just place it just inside and just give it a, you know, a nice little spray and just kind of work the latch in and out. You can also spray around any, you know, areas that you can get the lubricant inside and then just keep on doing this and try it again, see if maybe that helps it. Another thing to do before you finish this, go ahead and remove the mounting screws and take off the doorknob on both sides. Take the lubricant and just hose this down. Just spray the whole entire latch. Make sure this is all good and lubricated. So that way, when you put everything back on, you know, you don't have any friction, nothing's gummed up in there. Make sure you clean it, you know, fully and that should help you you know with your problem if you're still having this problem a lot of times on um especially on quick set latches like this one there's the knob that has the you know crescent moon shape it's just a piece of metal and it's metal on metal so over years of turning the knob and turning and turning it can dig into these two little pieces here and it basically prevents you from, like, as you turn it, it's, there's nothing making contact. Like, it will wear down these two little pieces of metal here and here. So I'll try to point out with this key here, this piece and this piece. Right in here can get worn away. If you notice that, it may just be time to go ahead and replace your latch. So if lubricant doesn't fix any of your problems it may just be time to replace the latch now for the cleaning of the lock cylinder 
I highly recommend that to start this, again, you have a true lubricant and you're not using WD-40 and you want to go ahead and grab a paper towel or a rag and just place it just underneath the lock and press it against the door. The reason for this is as you're going to clean the cylinder, anything that's inside is about to come back out. It's going to basically just start spewing out all of the gunk and the goo and anything that's inside. So you don't want it to drip down and stain the door or drip down and stain the carpet or any anything around you. So I highly suggest placing a rag or a nice paper towel underneath. Now what you'll do is you'll take your lubricant, you know, use the straw anytime you can and we're going to go ahead and place it right up against the keyway and all you're going to do is just give it one little spray just like that and then what you'll do is you'll take your key this isn't the key to this lock I don't really know where the key is but all you're gonna do is take your key make sure it's clean there's no debris place it into the keyway if you have the key that actually works for your lock turn it both ways and then remove the key what you'll do is you're gonna look for any debris like you see this there's a little bit so you'll just go ahead and clean that off make sure there's no debris on the key and then go ahead and put it in try it again make sure there's no debris and then continue spraying and insert the key kinda wiggle it around pull it back out and as long as you pull out the key and it's completely clean and shiny and free of debris then you're good um, one thing to note if anyone has ever used a graphite powder on the keyway it's all gonna come back out and that will take a while sometimes to get you'll keep you know inserting your key and it's gonna keep coming out black from all of the graphite so you'll just have to keep cleaning that off and it's it gets really annoying so this is the easy way to do it if it's super gunked up still and this isn't helping you may have to go ahead and take the lock apart with a plug follower and go ahead and just clean it all the way out so um, I hope this video helps you guys I know a few people have asked these two questions and I hope that this really gives you a good idea of how to correct these problems and again if this doesn't help it may just be time to replace the lock or take it to a locksmith to see if they can see what's going on with it it's up to you but in any case thank you for watching if you you know found this helpful you can feel free to subscribe if you'd like to learn more about locksmithing and DIY videos lock picking videos and in any case I hope you guys stay safe good luck on your project good luck on your job and have a nice day